Hi, this is uh, Sam with TechGrounds, and today I'm just going to be doing a review on um, the Canon EOS Rebel but, uh, uh, T1i, I'm sorry. 500D is what I almost said, and that's what it's called in Europe. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Um, I bought the kit with the 18 to 55 millimeter IS lens. You can see there. Manual focus and autofocus and stabilization. But um, we're going to ignore the lens for now. Oh, we'll leave it on, I guess. But we're going to talk about the body. So on the back, it is a 3 inch uh, high quality screen that looks really nice. Um, easy to see viewfinder. Um, and for, I have average size hands, and it actually is pretty comfortable to hold. Your fingers kind of go down there in the front. It's actually a little small. It's better for smaller hands because your pinky kind of has nowhere to go but it's and these uh, hand grips and everything are perfect and you can rest your hand underneath the camera to try and uh, take a picture and focus and everything um, uh, um, there's a new silver dial on top with all the different modes you can select from I'll just put it to the full auto mode um, on off switch ISO roll button um, flash I'll just turn it on so you can see the screen there we go, it's adjusting there. And um, on Creative Auto, you can just um, select a few different things. And then uh, you roll the dial on top there to select your different modes. And see the flash pops up. You hold it down halfway, orange light, click, and that's the picture I just took. I'll, uh, yeah, it got kind of blurry and messed up. I don't have it on autofocus. Now there's the picture I just took. Looks a little better. Anyways, but um, so it is not that complicated to use. The buttons are really well labeled. Um, everything explains itself, and it's pretty comfortable to hold. On the side, there is a little flap here to open up, and it has a remote control port. And um, somebody corrected me in the last video. I thought it was a microphone. It's not. Um, there's a mini USB, and then it's kind of shaped differently for their special video to HD uh, video port. And then there's a mini HDMI there too. Um, on the bottom is just a Holford tripod and the battery cover. There, battery. Um, and I'll just mention the battery quickly. You can get a few hundred pictures out of it, and it works really well. Um, on this side, you just um, pull it over, then you have to flip it up. And it pops out, and there's just your SD card, 8 gigabyte. Put that one back in. On the front, there's pretty basic, not that much to mention. Um, and uh, most or all flashes that are pretty universal just uh, slide on. It's kind of hard to from here. But um, I'm, I'm going to post um, two things. One, um, and two for the video modes that, that I'll um, include uh, in just a minute here in the video. That's for um, kind of the field of view, changing back and forth with the focus, and uh, movement, and they both kind of represent low light. Um, it does take pretty decent low light pictures, and the stabilizer in the lens works, because it works really well, because there's no stabilization in body. But um, this is a really good... Um, um, I suppose like a first time DSLR user, like I came up from the point and shoot, which I'm filming this with, the fine picks, Fuji. Um, but um, it's really easy to use and to learn, and they include great manuals and little help booklets and everything. But um, overall, it's a nice camera. I did choose this one over a Nikon, because I got this one on sale for one, and two, I like the HD video capabilities that this has. Um, and both videos that I um, that I'll uh, post at the end with this in this video are both on the uh, 1080 by 720 uh, 720p um, with 30 frames per second on this camera. Um, this uh, camera is pretty light, actually. Like I can pick that up like absolutely no problem, and it rests just gently on the lens, so it doesn't damage anything. Um, it comes with this nice neck strap. You can see here, Canon. It's a nice thick and it's grippy on the back. It was kind of hard to attach, but uh, I guess I got another one. Um, the software that um, I'll uh, I'll actually uh, hmm, let me think here for a sec. 
trying to open the software if I can even find it on my computer. Oh, here it is. Isn't it? Yes, here it is. So, um, it comes with... Uh, I, I To upload pictures, I always use their new software. I don't know if you can see this at all. But the new software, everything. Um, EOS utility is for downloading the pictures. I haven't really uh, explain, uh, explored much else. I know that the Digital Photo Professional, you can alter photos that you've taken and stuff and see them all in the videos. And you can see all your pictures. So I've taken a few hundred pictures and so far I haven't really had any problems with the software or the camera connecting. And this is probably one of the, and this has really great features, I guess I could mention quickly, I guess about the camera. Like 15.1 uh, megapixel stills, um, then you have the 1080p video and 720 and it goes down to 480. Um, all variable frame rates. Um, no, sorry, it's 20 for the 1080 and the rest are 30 frames per second. And um, here, there's two little sensors. Right under the um, the uh, the uh, eyepiece there, and if you cover them over, representing like a face going there, it'll shut off the LCD to say battery power, and so you don't blind yourself. Um, it clean, and you just saw that come up. Sensor cleaning, it'll clean off the sensors automatically with Canon's um, technology that I believe it just vibrates the lenses to knock dust off it. And when you upload on their software, it will automatically remove dust spots. But uh, overall, this is um, really worth the money you're going to pay for it. I've really enjoyed this camera, taking pictures and videos. Everything works really well. It has a built-in microphone and speaker, by the way, for video and great playback on the screen. But um, this is probably the best buy and the nicest camera in the range. The um, So I guess I can pretty much stop this review and you can watch the next two videos. And um, so this is the review of the Canon Rebel EOS T1i, or Canon EOS Rebel T1i, whatever you want to call it. But um, thanks for watching. See you later.